is it. We are getting ready to go to the goat show. And it's already mayhem because the tire on the RV already needed to be replaced. And the goats are not happy because they're separated from their babies, but we're excited because we're gonna go and sweat it out in Casa Grande, Arizona. We've got all the supplies here. We went shopping last night. Kids got their favorite cereals and Kevin, he loves cereal. Got a bunch of just junk food and snack food and everything so that we don't have to cook while we're busy showing the goats. But I do have a bunch of fresh peaches that I cut, so at least we have something semi-healthy. Sorry for the no video last week. It was just way too crazy. We had Ethan's birthday, Lydia's high school graduation, and then preparing for the show. It's been busy. But let me show who we are taking. All right, guys, here is the plan. Of course, we're taking beautiful Prim. <laughs> because she looks amazing, don't you? We're taking little River here. We're taking beautiful Reba, who is not happy right now. We're taking Tatum. We're taking Daphne, who's hanging out in the cage because she's mad that she's away from her babies. And we're gonna take Honey, who is asleep right now. <laughs> We decided to not take Daphne's kids or Tatum's kid because they're really bonded and I think they're gonna create more problems for us at the show by screaming for each other, stressing each other out, trying to nurse from the mamas when we need those nice full udders for the show. So to make things less stressful, their babies are staying home. It's the night of the show, before the show, and we got the goats all settled in, we shaved udders, and now we're gonna relax in the RV, in this nice RV that we rented. We've got the master bedroom, and then the bunk beds that Lydia's on the bottom of. <laughs> There's Kevin, and then you go down here. We've got kitchen, and a couch, and table, and Ethan! Are you cozy? Good. Nice and cool in here, huh? So we're gonna head to bed and then tomorrow bright and early, the show starts. Here is a little recap of our lineup and what I'm hoping for us to achieve. Okay guys, here's the plan for the Memorial Day show. First up are the seniors. Now, in the very first class, we have two first fresheners, Prim and Reba. They look really good. Reba's a little bit on the thin side. Prim's a little bit on the heavier side. So it'll be interesting to see how they do. Prim has this thing though where she does not like shows and she gets really stressed out. So I'm hoping she behaves. She usually behaves at home. Next up in the next class, class two will be Daphne. She is just a two-year-old, so she is still pretty young, and I'm excited to see how she does because, you know, as does get older, they mature and they get that body depth more, and they just they just look better. Then we have Tatum. Tatum's actually older than Daphne. A lot of people think it's the other way around, but we've had Tatum for, she was born in 2020, so we've had her three years. And this is supposed to be the peak maturity. Three years is about the time when your goat should look the best. So we'll see how she does. She has a smaller udder, so she may not even be able to compete. She doesn't really have good dairy skin to her. The dairy skin is the skin that can stretch really well. She has like a tougher type of skin, like a meat goat. That's usually thing that they sort of knock them down for, but now for the juniors. I debated and debated on how many to bring, and so we've got River in class eight, so this is one of the younger classes. I really wanted to bring her just so she had an experience at a show, because I plan to show her a lot. She comes from a long line of show goats, so I really want to make sure and get her trained to coming to shows, not being nervous at shows, and all that. And she also looks pretty good, so we'll see what the judges think. 
And then I decided to only bring honey as an older kid, a senior kid class. And that's because honey just to me looks the best. She walks the best. And I figured if I bring a bunch of different juniors, it might make the show a little too stressful. But yeah, I mean, if I was a betting girl, I would say that honey is going to win every class because I just absolutely love everything about her. She has such high sharp withers. She's level. She's long. She's wide. She has really nice long teats. To me, she looks like the perfect goat. She has been on Tilly this whole time though, so she is a little bit over conditioned or overweight. So we'll see if the judges do not like that. <laughs> We're back lit, it doesn't work. The lighting is great. Come here. Back lit. Hold it up, maybe. No, keep it on. <laughs> He's in, but it's, it's blocked. It's We're bad. backwards. We're backwards. But it blocks all the light. We need to like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh? <laughs> That's better. Yeah. You hold it. Ooh. Even. Hey, that's right. Oh. We don't have any jokes. You say joke. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have any goat sandwiches. <laughs> I'm so sad. We just want to say that we're the best supporters of this goat showing. Even though we haven't really shown any goats at all, we're really good at sitting in chairs on the side and, uh, you know, cheering them on. Because without, without us... <laughs> all of those shots that you saw of all the different shows were actually us and our super good camera skills and our magnificent... Say actually again. Actually. <laughs> Okay, here we are. The day starts out at 9 a.m. At this show, there are four different rings, which means there are four different judges that you can go in front of and have them judge your goat. So basically four different chances to win. And the first class of the seniors is who starts off the day. When I say senior does, that refers to does that are in milk, not does that are geriatric. Since the seniors are the ones that are in milk, they usually like to show them so that we can milk them out afterwards because we fill up their utter a lot for the show. In this ring, I decided to show Prim and then a friend of mine, Brielle, she showed Reba. So in this first class, Prim was acting like a nightmare. I had done everything I could to calm her down. I gave her some treats. I tried this stuff called attitude adjustment, which has a little bit of baking soda in it, and it's supposed to calm them down, but it did not work for Prim. She was not happy. The judge first goes down and checks the udder. They like to feel the udder texture and the attachments, and then they also make sure that your goat only has two teats. Extra teats are disqualified. He has us walk them around the ring so that he can make sure and see their top lines and see if they level out as we walk them. He looks at their front ends. He looks at their back ends. He has us walk away from him so he can see the rear udder and see how they move around that udder. And he has us walk around again and again. The reason why we wear white is so that we can provide a nice crisp backdrop for the judge to look at. Some people wear black as well and that's, that's allowed, but most people like to wear white because it shows off your goat the best. And here we are in the end out of 12 goats in the first freshener class or the class one. Prim got 10th and Reba got last. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This is, uh, this was pretty insane. And this was not a fun start to the show. At this point, I was thinking in my brain, like, why, why did we come here? Like, why are we doing this? Why do we put all this work in? No, it's okay. Uh, I just had to stick it out, you know, judge judges prioritize certain things over others and, and you know the opinions can vary between judges so I tried to keep my hopes up. Moving on the next ring was the two-year-olds and that's Daphne's ring so I'm just getting her set up. The judge walks around, checks them all out, we walk in a circle, looks at their front, looks at their back. And in this ring, Daphne got fourth place, which is really good, especially since there were 17 goats in this ring. So she did, she did pretty good for that. Last up for my seniors was the three-year-old class, and that's Tatum's. There were only eight does in this class, and you know, Tatum consistently places right smack dab in the middle. I think because she has such a level rump, level top line, but she just doesn't have a capacious udder. I filled her udder up so high. I almost was a bit worried about how she was going to do with that. And she doesn't have 
very stretchy skin so it fills up to like a softball size and then it just stops there's no expansion past that so you she just doesn't quite have that capacity so in this ring she ended up getting sixth place in the second ring of the day we go back to the seniors so i had kevin show prim because I did not want to deal with her <laughs> and he's stronger than me. And then I went ahead and showed Reba. This time we walked around the ring. I wasn't holding much hope because in the last ring we pretty much got last place. But the judge looked them all over and I could not believe it. I could not believe it. Reba ended up getting second. So that was really good validation. Prim ended up getting fourth place which is not bad at all. So very different opinions, uh, very different types of judges in both of these. Now it was time to move on to the two-year-olds in this ring, and that's Daphne's class. So we did the same thing, walk around, and we ended up getting second place in this ring. So that was really cool because second place means you get to go on to the next final round. But we'll save that for the end. And finally, it was Tatum's turn in front of this judge. And in the end, she put Tatum about fifth against. She always seems to get fifth right in the middle, usually middle to end. Now, because both Daphne and Reba got second place in their classes, we got to go into the champion lineup, which means we got to go stand with all the other first and second place uh, does from all of the other age groups. And if we're lucky, if the doe in front of us gets chosen as grand, we get to move up for consideration. So we're just waiting here, seeing what the judges, what the judge chooses. And for grand, she ended up choosing neither of the does in front of Daphne or Reba. So we did not get to move up. But my beautiful friend Amber Leaf from Desert Heart Dairy Goats won grand champion in this ring with her beautiful doe who's named Trouble and she is Trouble. But she looks amazing. Next up were the juniors and we start with the little babies. So many little babies in the ring. There's actually a class younger than this. We didn't film it. So this is the second class of the juniors here. And I have little River and you know she did pretty well all things considering she's pretty young but she walked with me she'll get better as she goes this is back to that first judge again and he ended up placing river he ended up putting her further back and then he changed his mind and brought her up so river got third place in this ring which is really cool third place out of 11 little junior dolings next up was honey and i had such high hopes for honey this was a huge class of 17 so that was that was a lot and we did all our jobs we walked around i mean i just i thought she looked so good she looks so wide look at her right there she looks so great but in the end you guys honey ended up getting fourth place which is not bad at all so i will take it especially with a doe that comes from questionable <laughs> questionable genetics with Tilly, old Tilly there. In the second ring, we did the juniors again. And in this ring, River got placed kind of further towards the back. She was eighth out of 11. And Honey ended up getting placed seventh out of 17. So we were still in that first line and that's good. We were, we were pretty happy with it. It was a, I was really thinking Honey was going to get first place both times, but that's okay. All right, guys, it's day two of the show. We slept good last night. We didn't have a very good first day, although Reba placed really well. I'll have to go back and review the footage. Daphne did pretty good. And Daphne did pretty good. So, not looking too bad. Today is, you know, two other different judges because we do two rings on the first day and then two different judges today. So, so maybe they're smarter, better judges than <laughs> It's so easy to think that like your goat looks so good and then you go in the ring and you see other goats that look really good and it's, it's really hard competition when you go to shows. Depends so on the judge. I'm like? actually really glad that we didn't bring a lot of juniors because they're so bad anyway in the ring and the ones that we brought were the best so <sighs> it'll be okay. So today we'll see what the judges say. The girls are not happy. This is day two, especially Prim. She is not liking the show scene at all. Reba's doing great. Daphne's doing great. Tatum's doing okay. She's doing better than she's done in the past, but I think it's because she's been to shows a lot. So that's helped. 
but Prim's not having it and she's not fun to show so I don't know I really don't want to show her it's hard to show she will not hold still I don't know I think she's just she seems like she's just really stressed out but yeah. oh, we'll see we'll see and then the two little kids are doing good they definitely want to get out but we've been giving them treats and they're surviving huh wish they would have placed better but we'll see good job you guys are doing good we started off in this ring with the one-year-old senior does and i didn't get all the footage for this one so i had to borrow some from crystal who was so nice to share it with me but in this ring reba got third and prim got fourth now we're on to the two-year-olds and this was a nice big class so in this class daphne got placed fourth again for tatum's three-year-old class she got placed fourth. And now we take those senior does and we're gonna go into the second ring of the day. I'm showing Reba and Kevin is showing Prim. She had us walk around. And in the end, if you can believe it, Reba got first place. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. After that first day getting last place, now we're on the second day and she's in the very first spot, which was so exciting. I couldn't believe it. Prim ended up getting eighth place. Daphne got seventh place, so this judge did not like Daphne as much as the other judges did. And finally for the three-year-olds, Tatum got fourth place. Now because we got first place with Reba, we got to go in the champion lineup again to be considered for either grand champion or reserve champion. And in the end, we didn't get it, but that's okay. For River and Honey, River ended up getting first place in this ring, which was really cool. And Honey was back at the line at about 8th place. So because we got first place with River, we got to go in the Grand Champion lineup again. But we didn't get chosen for being the best of the best. Okay guys, so Reba got first in that second ring and I'm so proud of her. She did so well at this show. She didn't kick or move or she let me do anything that I wanted to her. So I'm so glad that I brought her and that I kept her. The only thing that the judge said was that her udder is lopsided. And I did notice that as she freshened this year. And she told me I better not damn raise if I want to keep showing. So I think that maybe in our future we may have to bottle feed because those babies, they destroy the udder and can make that udder lopsided so early in life. The problem is, is once they do it one time, it can be like that for the rest of that doe's life. So I should have caught that. I thought I was watching the udder, but I must have not been watching it as close. And her babies were really aggressive. So it looks like we're gonna probably be a bottle feeding herd next year if we want to try to compete at all or have decent looking udders. It was definitely an eye-opening experience. I'm thinking Miss Tatum is definitely not gonna be up to par. Every judge, every we went to four judges and every judge said she just doesn't have the dairy skin. Dairy skin is when their skin can stretch and has a lot of elasticity to it, and that means that their udder can stretch. So I think after the show, it gave me really good insight with Tatum. Showing is such a great thing because even though each judge is giving their subjective opinion, it's just based off of their experience and what they think looks best, you still get a good rounded view if you go to a lot of different judges. You still have a great array of opinions on your goats. So we'll see. It's gonna definitely affect breeding choices and some changes this year. Juniors that we left at home and these two juniors here, there is a show in October that will probably take the juniors to to just get a little, get an eye on them when they're young and before they're kitted and they're definitely all tired right now and taking naps just it's a lot when they are so uttered up and they have to be uttered up for so long they're exhausted so now they're all milked out now they're all resting and we're about to head home well i found my best friend hey girl and we both did okay <laughs> we did okay we, you know what every show is just different and we're just trying our best and 
I don't know. And here we go. And the next show will be a whole new show. So it's always going to be a little different. But we do learn and, you know, it does help us assess the herd, I would say. And be able to just get a different perspective on what the judges think. And then we can, sometimes we're, we're barn blind, if you will. And we see something maybe a little bit different. Definitely. And it just, again, yeah, just kind of. But she got me addicted. So now I'm addicted. Yeah, so now you're addicted. Dang it. <laughs> but it'll be good. It'll be so, good. Yes.